good morning dear learners welcome to teaching learning session today we will start with start with mmpm 002 that is the sales management and in today's lecture we will discuss about the sales management's role nature ethics and we will try to discuss about the various theories related to sales <clears throat> sales sales man how can you define sales management sales management can be defined as Uh, the management of personal selling part of company's marketing plan or according to ama that is the american marketing association sales management is defined as the planning direction and control of personal selling activities of a business unit including recruiting selecting training equipment and assigning routing supervising paying and motivating as these tasks apply to the personal sales force so what is the sales management sales management is nothing but the planning directing and control of the personal selling activities of the business units right it includes a recruitment it includes selection it includes training it includes assigning routing supervising and paying and motivating to the personal sales force right what is the nature of sales management sales management is viewed as a part of marketing management right it's a part of marketing management sales management and sales planning needs to be integrated with the marketing planning there should be an integration between the marketing planning and the sales planning because sales management is a part of marketing management right both goes hand in hand sales management involves personal selling while marketing is more strategic and involves marketing team perform services and support based functions so uh, sales management actually basically as the as the definition states that sales management is nothing but the personal selling right it is a personal selling why marketing is more strategic uh, it is the strategies how will we launch our product or how will we create the need of our product uh, in the market it is more strategic and involves marketing team perform services and the support based function these function includes promotion marketing communication marketing research market uh, logistic customer services and coordination sales management is what that it is involves the personal selling while marketing management is it is more strategic and it involves various functions functions like uh, promotions marketing communications marketing research market uh, logistic customer services and various coordination etc the scope and importance of sales management is recruiting selecting training motivating and supervising sales person right so it is very important that you should recruit and select um, a right person train them well keep them motivated and supervise them whether they are performing or not supervise the sales person strategic planning forecasting taking part in the budget preparation and designing territories and developing sales force organization structure so scope of sales management is very wide so it includes the recruitment selection training motivation and supervising the same sales person as well as it uh, this sales management is a that it is the scope of sales management is is in this strategic planning uh, forecasting right are uh, taking part in the budget preparation they prepare the budget are uh, they design the territories where they can sell up their product and developing the sales force organization structure etc so all this is the scope of sales management and scope of sales management is very wide role of sales function in marketing right marketing is dynamic and much wider concept than selling and focus is on the customer rather than the product so in marketing as we know that uh, sales is a part of a marketing so marketing is a wider concept 
right? Uh, selling, uh, then sell, uh, vital concept, then the selling. And uh, marketing, focus on the customer rather than the product. Marketing is, marketing focus on the customers. Uh, because it marketing includes the market research, what is required, uh, what is the needs and the wants of the customer, whether the customer is satisfied or not, how can one retain the, one can retain the customer and all these things. While selling has a product focus and is mostly producer centered marketing is customer centered while selling is product center because we have to sell a certain product so it is the product center uh, this in selling process we concentrate on the specific product while in marketing if our company is producing the n number of product and we are creating a brand or our the marketing uh, focuses on the customer that the customer should be loyal to that uh, organization or to the company or to that brand right so selling uh, while the selling is uh, product focus and mostly producer center it is the action of marketing and has a short term goal for achieving market share right the fee key focus of any sales activity is to maximize the profit through say uh, through increased in the sales activity uh, sales is the uh, uh, pro sales is the process of any organization uh, which increased sales activities right right and uh, the uh, um, in marketing right uh, that uh, the focus was on was to increase the market share selling primarily uh, selling primarily revolves around the interest and needs of the manufacturer or the marketer right see uh, in marketing marketing is customer oriented while sales is product oriented right so in marketing we do take care of the customer while selling primarily revolves around the interest and needs of the manufacturer or marketer right uh, where uh, at what cost the manufacturer want to sell that product in what area they want to sell that product to so sell sales actually um, revolves around the interest and needs of the manufacturers or the marketers marketing revolves around the needs and wants of the customer so these are the few differences marketing is a process of meeting and satisfying the needs of the customers we know this what is marketing in marketing management we discuss about this marketing is what it is a process of meeting the needs and wants and to satisfy the needs of the customers the task commences with identified customer needs and last till feedback on the customer satisfaction after product consumption is received. It is a long chain activities which involve product creation, packaging, promotion, pricing, distribution and selling. So marketing is customer oriented, right? And it starts from the marketing research and it ends till the satisfaction of the customers. And it is a, the, this marketing involves a long chain of activities like uh, production creation, product creation, right? What is required by the customer? We, the marketer tells it to the producer and producer uh, produce the product according to the requirements and the needs of the customer. So it includes the product creation, marketing includes the product creation, packaging, pricing, promotion, distribution, and then again, selling is a part of a marketing. Selling merely concern itself with the techniques of getting the customer to exchange their cash for the company's product. So uh, selling, actually selling is what? Selling is, what is that? That is, it is a technique of getting customers to exchange their cash for the company's product, right? That is selling is, uh, the, we, uh, the seller wants to sell of the product. That is, they want to exchange their product to the customer uh, for cash. Both the discipline are complementary to each other. Sales is just one dimension of marketing promotion, which is the part of a core marketing mix element, right? 
selling and marketing have gradually started merging with each other due to common orientation and long term planning perspectives the role of sales within organization has become more customer driven than the product driven right but nowadays there are changes right the marketing that is uh, the although there are certain differences between the marketing and sales but marketing and sales go hand in hand right nowadays that marketing and sales have gradually started merging with each other they started merging with each other due to co- due to common orientation right because their orientation is same and uh, there is a long uh, common orientation and because of the long term uh, perspective right uh, that is the role of sales within the organization has become more customer driven driven than the product driven right sales management that is the formulation of sales strategies key decision area in sales management which are particular relevant for strategy formulation is deciding upon the type and the qualities of sales personnel required so what all our strategies uh, what all uh, say uh, uh, sales strategies includes it includes that is placing the right person at right place at right time that is staffing right deciding on the type and the quality of the sales person mm-hmm. required what type of a sales person uh, a company requires and what should be the qual- what, what should there be the qualities of a sales person a determination of size of the sales force right first first is to determine the qualities and the types of the sales person then the size of the sales person of sales force right uh, how many sales personnel we need 1 2 3 4 5 for more right so determination of the size of the sales force organization and design of the sales department that is we have to decide what should be the organization and the design or the hierarchy of the sales department then territory design territory we discussed about stp that is the segmentation territory and positioning in our last lectures few lectures so territory design is again a part of the sales strategies where we can sell off our product and then recruitment and the training procedures after deciding it it is very important that we should recruit we should staff the right person and we should train them accordingly right and after recruiting and training task allocation that what giving the task allocation is what giving them the objective what they are supposed to do or what the organization expects from them then the compensation of the sales force compensation is because they are performing we have to pay to them then compensation is again very important at uh, what should be the compensation of the sales force and uh, uh, you should give them and then performance of pressure and the control system if someone is performing well it is very important to appraise their performance because the performance appraisals keeps the workforce motivated and when we discussed about the scope of uh, the sales management uh, one of the scope of this uh, sales management is motivation right training motivation staffing all these comes under the scope of sales management so it is very important that one should keep the workforce motivated then only they would be able to sell of the product sell of the products or can make the sales and control system is very important it is very important that you should have control on on all your resources it is very important that uh, you should have you should appraise uh, their performance if they are doing the well as well as uh, you should control them if they are not performing so control system should be there and the feed mechanism should be adopted right there should be a feedback mechanism so that actually we could come to know uh, in which area that we, which are the areas where we should improve ourselves so feedback mechanism is very important and then important is managing channel relationships why it is important to manage the channel relationship it is important to manage the channel relationship uh, because without relationship it will be difficult to sell the product the relationship matters a lot and coordination with other marketing department right and as uh, sales comes under the marketing it is the part of the marketing so it is very important that there should be a coordination between the marketing department and the sales department so that Uh, so that uh, there should be no ambiguity 
right uh, if you want to if you want no ambiguity in your um, uh, message right no ambiguity in the message the sale message should be um, uh, should be uh, the the same message should be uh, uh, received by the uh, by the customer whether it is from the uh, it is from the uh, advertisements or from the sales person so there should be no ambiguity in the message right diversity of selling situation see it is going discussed about the scope we discussed about the uh, nature of sales force right sales management right so sales management formulation and sales we discussed about the uh, formulation of sales strategies a diversity of selling situations right see uh, selling in, actually selling is what selling is personal selling right so there should be diversities uh, of the selling situation there could be the various selling situations right personal selling may be described as a direct communication between paid representatives and prospects that led to transaction customer satisfaction account development and profitable relationship right so uh, if uh, we can, how can we describe the personal selling personal selling is what it is a direct communication between the paid representative paid representative means your sales force they are your paid representative right because we discussed about the selection about their recruitment about their training and about their compensation and performance appraisal so they are the uh, paid and representative because they represents the organization so they are the paid representative so there should be a direct communication between the paid representative or the sales person of the organization and the prospect right prospect means who could be your customer right there should be a direct com uh, communication between the paid representative and the prospect right prospect is what Pros prospect is um, those all those people who could, who could be who could be your customer who are interested in your product so there should be a direct communication between the uh, sales person and the prospect and that leads to that lead to transactions there should be transaction right transaction means that uh, customer should exchange the values with the product right means customer should be ready to purchase or customer should purchase that in simpler word customer should purchase the product right right so there should be a direct communication between the pay sales personnel and the prospect and it should lead to transaction or it should lead to purchases right there should be a customer satisfaction after the consumption after purchase and the consumption of the product right customer should be satisfied and happy with the product right and then the important is the account development right account development means you should add on new customers right and a profitable relationship and there should be a profitable relationship for both the customer as well as for the organization so it is the uh, personal selling what is the personal selling involves that is exchange of the product that uh, there should be uh, uh, a direct communication between the sales personnel and the consumer and it should lead to the purchases and the customer satisfaction should be there and the account development and profitable relationship should be there the term personal selling and salesmanship are often used interchangeably however there are some key differences between the two terms so personal selling and the salesmanship they are, they are used interchangeably but there are certain differences salesmanship is seller initiated efforts that provide prospective buyer with information and motivates them to make a favorable decision concerning the sales product sellers product or the services so what is salesmanship salesmanship is seller uh, what is salesmanship salesmanship is what it is when the seller initiate the efforts right 
that provides prospective buyer that is when the seller when the sales person um, provides the information to the customer and about the product and motivates the customer to make a favorable decision that is motivate them to purchase their product right then that is known as the salesmanship when a person right a person try to influence the customer about the product and um, and motivates the customer to purchase or the perspective to purchase the product right or the services while personal selling is highly distinctive form of promotion right it is basically a two way communication involving not only individual but social behavior also it aims at bringing the right product to the right customer while personal selling is what personal selling is a part of a promotion it is a promotional activities right it is the two way communication right that in that involves both the customer as well as the consumer and it involves not only individual but the social behavior and aims at bringing the right product to the right customers right uh, why what is the what is the, uh, why uh, that personal selling is so important right consumer wants all sorts of goods and services but inertia may keep them from buying they want services they want goods but because of certain reason right um, they uh, buy a different product or they don't buy sales efforts stimulate the consumption process by reducing people's inherent reluctance to make purchase decision right so uh, actually uh, everyone wants to uh, wants to have some goods or the services but at times the people become reluctant right uh, reluctant to make the purchase decision right whether i should one should buy it, whether i should buy it or not whether i am taking the right decision or not whether i need this product or not i don't have much information about this product so uh, because of any of the reasons they become reluctant while the sales effort stimulates the consumption process right so it uh, uh, stimulates the consumption process it starts the process and uh, it reduces the uh, that it uh, the sales uh, efforts reduces the reluctancy of the consumer to make purchase decisions right the sales person act as a catalyst in market place so the sales person what is the sales person act as a catalyst in market place factors driving personal selling in indian context there are various factors that drives the personal selling in india to supplement pan india media many companies find it expedient to extensively use personal selling to achieve their promotional objectives right so um, at time companies found that companies find that uh, that this personal selling is more important than any other uh, than any other uh, promotional activities right so they used that uh, this they used that personal selling extensively to achieve their promotional objectives they find that it is uh, that personal selling is important or it 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 plays an important role right so they use companies use the personal selling extensively companies which cannot afford a large outlay for advertising on the regular basis also find personal selling a more reliable method as we all know that advertisement is a paid method of uh, promotions and uh, at times company uh, those companies uh, which cannot afford a large amount for the advertisements or for advertising uh, they found that personal selling is the best method of promotions or it could be the one of the uh, one of the most reliable method of promotions the ne- uh, the vast network of distribution system needs the support of the manufacturer sales force for market coming as well as development so so companies uh, um 
this uh, the uh, because of the vast network of distribution system they need support of the manufacturer sales force for market coming as well as development uh, we need we to uh, grab the market uh, the manufacturer needs the sales force and they find that the selling is one of the one could be important aspect low and because of the low level of literacy and lack of adequate customer education regarding various product make personal selling very effective method in product adoption particularly in the rural market as because we are discussing it in the indian context so at times the companies feel that uh, personal selling is uh, is uh, through personal selling they can achieve their objectives right and those companies which cannot afford a large advertising budget they can go for the personal selling they opt for the personal selling and above all that there is a low level of literacy or because of lack of customer awareness or the education right about the various product a companies found or the organization feels like that personal selling is very effective method in the product adoption because when the seller goes or the some representative of the organization uh, meets to some or uh, uh, goes to the uh, prospect right he can explain about the product or can solve the queries or the questions of the customer so uh, because of the uh, low level of literacy and lack of educate customer education right uh, companies feel right that the personal selling could be one of the options orientation of indian cons consumer is such that they want the best value of their money owing to high marginal value of rupee which is necessitates the personal selling right situations conducive for personal selling uh, what all are situation where we can opt this personal selling product situation personal selling is relatively more if uh, more effective and economical in cases like uh, as per if we whatever uh, we, we are discussing about the various situation which are conducive for personal selling and there are certain product situation like when a product is of high unit value like computers when the uh, when we can opt for the personal uh, selling uh, as we uh, opt to the personal selling as per the product if product is costly right then personal selling plays an important role like your computer like your ac or uh, or any other product which is of high value right so high unit value so personal selling plays an important role when a product is of high unit value second is when product is in introductory stage of its life cycle and requires creation of core demand see we discussed about the product life cycle the various phases of the product life cycle that is the growth that is the initiation growth maturity and then comes the decline stage and when product is in the introductory stage right initiating stage introductory stage of its life cycle then it requires a creation of a core demand right so at that time that personal selling could play an important role or plays an important role so that is during that introductory stage a product requires personal attention to match specific consumer needs that is the insurance policies or uh, uh, that personal selling could be important when that product requires uh, uh, requires a personal attention to match a specific consumer needs like uh, insurance policies health policies right all these type of policies they require the personal attention and they should be this uh, according they should match the specific condition consumer needs or the conditions at that time personal selling plays an important role so advertising we cannot Uh, sale of the insurance policy because everyone's requirement could be different at that time uh, we, we, there could be the number of queries a uh, consumer could have or the customer could have then the personal selling plays an important role at that time because the uh, person because the, the representative or could um, solve all the questions or the queries of the customers right uh, when product requires demonstration mostly the industrial products 
then personal selling plays an important role and we are we are ever we are ever or the or any product which requires demonstration that is then the personal selling plays an important role product requires after sales services right and then again the personal selling plays an important role because it creates a uh, because when the sales person uh, visits um that, that visit that customer a uh, bond a relationship or the uh, the, uh, the uh, sales person creates a relationship or a bond with the customer and uh, and uh, even if if customer faces any problem or requires the uh, after sales services they directly contact to that sales person not to the any organization so product requires after sale services then that personal selling plays an important role product has no brand loyalty or poor brand loyalty then uh, again that personal selling plays an important role if you have to create a brand loyalty right then personal selling plays an important role right then according to market was according to the product situation right um uh, product according to product when our situation uh, could be conducive for personal selling uh, when uh, someone needs after sale services when product needs after sale services when product is costly or when product is in an introductory stage right when product uh, um, when the uh, product is when a consumer um, when the product needs uh, personal attention or match should be matched with the specific needs of the consumer right or when it needs a demonstration right when there is a poor brand loyalty then at that time that sales uh, personal selling could play an important role and market situation what market situation could be conducive for this right that is the market is selling to a small number of large size buyers right that is uh, when we are um, when we are um, uh, that is your territory is small or when your niche area is small right uh, but you are selling it to a large size buyer right large size buyer means who buys larger quantity the number of buyers are less but the size of that buyer of particular buyer is more is large right so uh, at that time uh, the personal selling plays an important role a company's sells in a small uh, local market or in government or institutional market then again the personal selling plays an important role desired middlemen or agents are not available when desired middlemen or agents are not available then again uh, it plays an important role an indirect channel of distribution is used for selling of merchant middlemen only right uh, uh, that is when there is an indirect channel of distribution right then uh, it could be conducive uh, then company situation the company is not in position to identify and make use of suitable non personal communication media right uh, when company is not able to uh, suit uh, when not able to select the non personal communication media it could be because of uh, budget or it could be because of any of the reasons then at that time this personal selling plays an important role a company cannot afford to have a large and regular advertising outlay then uh, personal selling plays an important role and then uh, there could be the consumer behavior situations right uh, which could be conducive for uh, personal selling that is purchases are valuable but infrequent like your jewelry right purchases are valuable right but infrequent people usually uh, don't buy the jewelry frequently but the cost of that product is more that is valuable right then the personal selling plays an important role right consumer need instant answers to his question right then that personal selling could play an important role uh, suppose if you are uh, looking for some ac or dishwasher you might have n number of questions in your mind right then uh, if uh, a sales person can answer those question and could satisfy the consumer then only consumer will make 
choices. Consumer require persuasion and follow up in face of competitive pressures. Right. Suppose uh, we need a product, but again, it is very important important that the at times the consumer requires persuasion. It is important to persuade the customer so that they can make up their mind or the decision to purchase that product. Right. And uh, so uh, these are the situation would, which could be conducive for the personal selling. That is consumer behavior situations, marketing sit market situations. Uh, then uh, again, depends the product uh, company situations. Right. Right. And the product situations. So product situation, we discussed about the product situation, market situation, and then the company situation and the consumer behavior situation uh, under any of these situations. If any of these, if any of these or more, one or more than these situation exist, then these situation could be conducive for personal selling, right? Types of personal selling. Um, actually there are various types of personal selling right uh, that is the industrial selling retail selling and the service services selling industrial selling industrial selling is also known as b2b selling what is industrial selling when one industry sells its product to another industry then that is known as the industrial selling that is selling to resellers Suppose a company or an uh, suppose a, suppose one in the, suppose take an example of a tire industry. Uh, a company is producing the tire, right? Right now that tire they are selling their tires to the car manufacturer or automobile manufacturer. Am I right? Then that is known as B two B. Chesses. Chesses number. You might have heard about the chesses number. There is a chesses number of each and every um, automobile, right? If I suppose if company is producing or manufacturing a chesses number and reselling that chesses number or the chesses plate, not the number actually, but that chesses plate uh, to the automobile manufacturer. Uh, this is known as B2B selling. That is business to business. Right, um, uh, that is the tire manufacturer. It is a business. The, those ch chassis manufacturer, uh, it is in business activities, and they are selling their product to other business, uh, like uh, to the automobile industry. So selling. So it includes. So uh, what is industrial selling? Industrial selling is basically B two B selling, and it involves selling to reseller. Uh, what are you, you uh, uh, selling your product uh, to someone who will resell your product, right? Selling to business user, right? That is selling to a business user. Is that what I have given you the example? Selling to the reseller. A reseller is like when you have given your uh, product to the distributor or to the wholesaler, and as such, that uh, um, reseller is selling your product. So suppose um, take uh, say take an example of. Uh, 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 bread manufacturer right so they are selling their product to the wholesaler or to the retailer and now those wholesaler or retailer or the distributors they are reselling their product right that is the selling of reseller selling to business user i just dis um, described it that selling to the business user that is when one business house is selling its product to the other business user example is chess plate and that tire right institutional selling institutional selling is when you sell your product to the various institutions like it could be an educational institutions or other offices right that is and then it requires suppose uh, suppose uh, if a computer manufacturer is uh, selling its product to uh, to the offices that it is the institutional selling right selling to the government then again a government needs many things and when one is selling the product to the government right then that is known as the industrial selling that is b2b selling industrial selling is basically b2b selling 
what is retail selling retailing can be described as an activities involved in sales of goods and services to ultimate consumers for personal use and consumption right that is what is the uh, retail selling uh, retail selling can be described as activities all those activities that involves the sales of goods and services to the ultimate consumer to the consumer who will actually consume that product right who will actually consume that product and <laughs> then when you sell your product to the consumer for the personal use or the consumption then that is known as the retail selling right that is known as a retail selling that is when our retailer is selling the product to the ultimate ultimate consumer that is when a kirana shop of of a society or of a colony is selling the product to the consumer for its for direct consumption for personal use or consumption uh, right uh, when a kirana store wala is uh, selling the bread butter eggs and other things to the consumer for the consumption for personal use or the consumption then that is known as a retail selling right next type of a selling is service selling what is service selling service selling is the activities are the activities or benefits provided to the consumer the unique characteristic of this services are intangibility variability perishability and separability right what is the services selling right services or activities or benefits provided to the consumer when you are you when you are not selling any of the product right uh, uh, any of the product uh, uh, see what is the product um, uh, even the services we considered the services as a product services is a product but we cannot touch those product the service product so services are the activities or benefits provided to the consumer when you are um, uh, uh, providing that uh, benefits or activities to the consumer the unique characteristics of services are intangibility right these products are intangible right they, that is they don't deplete after the consumption right a uh, variability there could be a variation in the services right right it could not be same then perishability and separability right so all these are the uh, these are the characteristics of the services so services service selling is what when you are selling uh, the services as a product right so uh, um, that is the uh, when we say that uh, after sales services or insurance services right or uh, all these are the services right or the mechanical that is the uh, when you call uh, an electrician they, he provides you these services not any he is not providing you any of the product directly but he is providing you these services right so it is a and you exchange his services with money right so services are the are uh, the activities or benefits provided to the consumer and the unique characteristic of service are intangibility right these are intangible variability variable perishable and separability right classification of personal selling approach right there are five basic approaches of personal uh, selling right that is the stimulus response mental states need satisfaction problem solving and consultative so these are the five basic approaches of personal selling right a uh, stimulus response uh, then uh, uh, first is the first basic approach is stimulus response that is there is a stimuli right uh, which could be uh, uh, stimulus response when a consumer respond to any of the stimuli right then comes the mental state uh, whether they want that product or not that is to understand their needs and wants and then when they consume that product whether that uh, product need satisfactions right uh, that product should satisfy their needs and if they have any problem they should sort out that problem and then the consultative should provide the consultation 
uh, there are various qualities and skills that are required uh, from an uh, required for an effective salesperson right the first is ability to assess the customer's needs and desires so he should be capable enough to understand what the consumer wants or needs right so qualities and skills of an effective salesperson then comes ambition how ambitious that person is so that he can put more efforts then appearance he should uh, um, that the person appearance uh, we should say that the personality of a say of the sales person should be very good right because uh, personality plays an important role in sales then business sense of that particular person right he should have a business sense he should know how to sell that product or how to read the mind of the of the consumer and how to uh, sell that product then uh, he should have some courtesies and the basic manners how to behave with the consumer and then comes the creativity this uh, the sales person should be creative he should know uh, when to nail when to nail right then comes the uh, curiosity he should be curious enthusiastic sales person should be enthusiastic it should not be enthusiastic means motivated he should be motivated he should enjoy his job he should uh, be uh, he should be uh, satisfied with his job job satisfaction is required when a person is uh, satisfied with the job and um, uh like his job uh, then this and then um, this motive uh, this uh, makes the person enthusiastic and when person is enthusiastic and likes his or her job right then they can perform better so enthusiasm is required quantitative ability certain few quantitative uh, he should have a quantitative ability means he should be able to apply a logic right he should be logical in another sense flexibility he should be flexible flexibility in what sense flexibility in terms of time flexibility in terms of um, everything then he should be friendly right because he has to create a rapport with the customer and one can create a rapport with the customer only when one is friendly with the customer writing ability should be able to write properly if required right integrity and interest in the job you should have interest in the job and should have integrity it means he should be honest right he should have integrity knowledge should be knowledgeable he should have a thorough knowledge about the product so that he can answer all the questions or the queries of any of the consumer he should be loyal and mental abilities and should be motivated right okay uh now let us compare and contrast the personal selling with direct to marketing although uh, uh type personal selling is active while direct marketing is passive focus focus in personal selling it is on the customer a uh, while in direct marketing it is all about the product right audience limited reach while direct marketing there is a massive reach message message in personal selling could be personalized while in direct marketing not personalized definition selling to a particular customer personally and in direct marketing selling a product directly to the customer there is uh, you are not selling any particular you are not selling the product to a particular uh, person right or the customer personally you are selling the product directly to people involves sales person convinces the customer to purchase their product right while direct marketing involves emails coupons texting camping social media program flyers newsletter catalog brochures etc all these comes under direct marketing right relationship 
the personal relationship with customer is important no personal relationship instead it is about the instant gratification in direct marketing so these are the uh, differences between the personal selling and the direct marketing right theories of selling now let, let us discuss few theories of uh, selling right um, there are actually four theories of selling that is adas theory a uh, right set of circumstances theory buying formula theory and behavior equation theory adas theory that is this theory is based on the premise that during a sales presentation the prospect consciously goes through five different stages when you are that is according to this theory when a sales person right or when a, when a sales person is uh, presenting about or describing about the product right that is during the sales presentation the prospect or the uh, potential customer consciously not unconsciously consciously goes through five different stages uh, what all those are five different stages that is attention interest desire action and satisfaction these are the five stages right attention for a sales person it is very important that he should grab the attention of prospective consumer about about his uh, uh, he should uh, he should grab the attention of the customer uh, towards himself towards its presentation right towards the organization or the product and it is important right if a person is not able to grab the attention right then it becomes difficult to make the sales right so it is important that one should grab the attention right your presentation should be like that that you should grab the attention right after grabbing the attention it is very important that you should create an interest right interest that uh, you should uh, see uh, it is human nature that uh, human being loses interest very rapidly right uh, that is within a few seconds if consumer if sales person is able to grab the attention but after then again it is very important to maintain that attention or to create the interest so that uh, so that he can achieve his or her target right so it is important that a uh, sales person should be able to uh, keep the prospect interested in the presentation in the sales presentation first it is important to grab the attention after grabbing the attention it is very important for a sales person to uh, keep that attention right or to make the consumer interested about the presentation or the product so your presentation or your skills should be like that you should be able to grab the uh, attention and should be able to interest then desires right uh, after uh, creating an interest it is important that uh, uh, sales person should be able to evoke the desire in the prospects that they that that product could how that product can uh, satisfy their needs and wants right so it is important to create the desires then actions and satisfaction right um, then uh, this after creating a desire it is important to um, important to persuade the consumer or uh, help them the consumer to take the actions right uh, favorable and the positive action uh, which can lead to purchases right and after purchases it is very important to get the feedback about the product whether the customer is satisfied or not when you get the feedback of the product when you when you remain in contact with the customer then it makes a relationship between the customer and uh, sales person or the company so adas theory is attention right it is important that the sales person or the person in selling person it is very selling 
uh, that is in personal selling it is very important to attain to get the attention and then to uh, uh, second is interest uh, one should be interested it is important to keep interested in that product then desire action and satisfaction right i hope it is clear adas theory and uh, adas a stands for attention i stand for interest the d stands for desire a stands for action again and s stands for satisfaction right uh, it is important to um, get the attention of the customer then to keep them interested in the product or the presentation uh, to arouse their desire about the product to create the need of the product and then help them to take a positive actions that is that leads to the purchase and then satisfaction whether the um, to know or to get the feedback whether the customer is satisfied or not if not then it is important to make them happy and satisfied next theory is a right set of circumstances theory what is the right set of circumstances theory everything was right for the same that sums up this theory right everything is right for the same the advocates of this theory opine that all circumstances which led to sales were appropriate or right for sales to have taken place and when the sales that is any circumstances or all circumstances uh, which led to the sales were appropriate for the sales that have taken place that everything was right for the sales if a sales person is successful in securing the prospect's attention maintaining his interest and inducing his desire uh, to buy the product and sale will result and if sales person is highly skilled he will take control of the presentation which would lead to sale so everything is okay according to this right set of circumstances is everything was right for the sales right that this theory opines that um, uh, which led to the sales were appropriate for rights right any circumstances which led to sales were appropriate or right for sales right next is buying formula theory next theory is buying formula theory what is this buying formula theory in this theory the emphasis is on the buyer this theory emphasizes the needs or the problems of the buyer the sales person assists the buyer in finding an appropriate solution to problem and this solution may be in terms of the product or services buying formula theory that it emphasizes on the buyer on the problems of the buyer and when there is a problem of the buyer the sales person assist to um, uh, find the solution for the buyers it helps the buyer to find the solution right and the solution may be in terms of the product or the services as per the requirement of the buyer the theory emphasized on the factor internal to the prospect and the factor that are external factors that influences the prospect decision to buy the product right this theory states that there are various internal and external factor uh, which uh, which can influence the prospects decision to buy the product and at that time right uh, at that time when external and internal forces that act uh, that to uh, act as a that influence the prospect's decision this personal selling plays an important role the theory is based on the presumption that the sales person will take care of external factor you cannot take care of the uh, internal factors but the sales uh, person can take care of the external factor so uh, in this theory that is the theory of buying formula theory it is very important for a sales person to understand the need or the problem of this uh, consumer right and then it leads to product or the services what what product or the services can solve the problem right and then there could be uh, if this product and services should lead to the pleasant feeling and then the trade name that is where, uh, what type of the product or of which company's product you would like to purchase 
right then it makes to cheap purchases and the satisfaction so all this plays an important role right buying formula theory states that uh, it emphasizes the uh, to solve the problem of the buyer and the sales person assist the buyer in finding out the appropriate solution for the problem there are various internal and external factors uh, which um, uh, influences the prospects buyer their decisions right or which uh, influences the buyer's decision so this theory uh, assumes that the sales person will take care of the external factors which influences the prospects decisions right internal factors are internal factors personal selling prospects a personal selling process this personal selling is a process and it involves prospecting and qualifying prospecting and qualifying means you have to find out who could be your uh, prospects who could be your potential consumer or who uh, who can qualify to be your consumer so sell, selling process includes first of all it is very important to find out the prospecting or qualifying who could be your consumer right or who could be your potential customer or the prospect right uh, then pre approach then uh, it is important uh, that you should pre approach the uh, prospect pre approach means you should have information information about your uh, prospect your name address your right before making a cold call it is important right you should have details about the consumer suppose if someone is someone if someone wants to sell a credit card to you right then it is very important that you should know about your prospect that is as per the limit what should be the bank balance of that person how you what should, according to the criteria who who, who fulfills that criteria could be your prospect right then pre approach is what pre approach is uh, pre approach is like what that you get the information uh, before offering them the card the name uh, their civil uh, right uh, their bank balance or about their loans or any other requirements so this is known as a pre approach after getting a uh, information about your prospect it is important that you should approach the prospect right uh, approaching could be through cold calling or any thing right then uh, after that uh, when uh, your customer or the prospect shows interest in the product then important is sales presentation and demonstration here the personal selling plays an important role that you should demonstrate about the product or should make a sales presentation right and uh, then negotiating the sales resistance or the buying objections right after sales presentation after getting the attention it is very important that you should uh, create a desire to buy the product right desire that is negotiating sales resistance and buyer objection then comes the after uh, fulfilling that uh, after um, solving their queries problems or uh, uh, creating a desire in them and they take the uh, the next step is closing the sales that is to take the actions that it should be in positive way but positive means that sale should be closed after comes is the uh, services that is for feedback that is the follow up and the servicing the account so all these are the processes of the personal selling right we discussed about all these things right that's all for today thank you very much namaskar